Remember the episode of Family Guy where a salesman cons Peter Griffin into trying to buy a volcano insurance? Well, this feels like the Anvil equivalent of that. Trying to get the owners to buy into a problem that does not exist. Welcome everybody to JG9 News, where we talk all things NFL all the time. I'm Jared Aaron, I'm representing the 904 from the 602, and today... We are talking about a rule proposal submitted by the Philadelphia Eagles. A lot of rule proposals submitted today and yesterday. We will dive into all of those in the coming days on JG9 News, so make sure that you are here for that. But the Philadelphia Eagles have submitted a proposal that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense when you really break it down for more than five seconds. There are a lot of problems in the game right now that could be addressed. There is the issue with the officiating. There is the issue with kickoffs being basically a ceremonial play. 13 kickoffs in the Super Bowl, none of them got returned. Onside kicks, that's a big issue because they are way too hard to recover, less than 5% of the time. Lots of changes on the table, and the Eagles have submitted a proposal that addresses none of them, and instead creates a solution to a problem that does not exist. Because what if during the final 60 seconds of each half, the second quarter and the fourth quarter, the clock counted down by tenths of a second like it does in the NBA and the NHL. What if that was a thing? Well, the Philadelphia Eagles want to make that the case. According to a report from Pro Football Talk, among others, for the second consecutive offseason, the Eagles have asked the other NFL teams to consider a proposal to show tens of seconds on game clocks. So not play clocks, game clocks. Philadelphia proposed new language in the NFL's timing rules that says stadium clocks, will count down in one-second increments like they do right now, except in the last 60 seconds of the second and the fourth quarter, where the clocks will transition to a countdown in tenths of seconds. This proposal, to me, makes no sense whatsoever, for a variety of reasons. First off, a proposal like this is going to cost a crap ton of money. Kaylee Kaler from The Athletic last year did a very good article where she talked about how scoreboards have fixed-digit displays. A lot of them have fixed-digit displays. So would it make sense for teams to invest in a rule change like this when they're getting new or massively renovated stadiums in the process? The Titans have a massive stadium come up in downtown Nashville. The Bills have a new stadium coming up. Do you think they want to make improvements and renovations to the scoreboard at their current stadiums? So in Orchard Park and Nissan Stadium, do you think they want to make those massive changes to the scoreboard for things that won't exist in just a few years? That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Now, there's some teams that can do this easily, but some teams, others, not so much. That's a lot of money to invest in something like this. It's not like pylon cams where, yes, it's a lot of money, but it's a play that happens a lot and it can provide some really cool angles. This is such a specific problem. When does this ever even come into play? For basketball, it makes a ton of sense. It is extremely relevant for basketball because you need 0.4 seconds to catch and shoot. So that makes a ton of sense. For hockey, it makes a ton of sense, because the game is over, or the period is over, when the clock hits zero on the dot. So you really need a tenth of a second right there. Football, when does this ever come into play? You know that anything above five seconds, you have time to run a play, and anything less than that, you don't have time to run a play, and you should kick the field goal, or go for the Hail Mary, if you're far back, you don't have time to run another play on the sideline. It's only relevant if we're in that 4.5 second range. But do we really want to change a rule for a very, very specific scenario that rarely happens and is going to cost a ton of money? But most importantly, from the fans' perspective, how does this make the game better for the fans? Honestly, how does this make the game better for the fans? Because if anything, it's going to make it worse. You think the games are slow right now? This is going to slow down the game dramatically. Ever been to an NFL game or ever watch an NFL game where the referee says, please reset the clock to this time? That's part of the holdup for a lot of things, especially when there is a fumble and a turnover and something like that where they let the play run out, but at the same time, it should have been blown dead and they have to figure out the exact time. Resetting it to a certain second, that takes a lot of time to do. That's usually one of the main holdups with replay. Well, now, to the exact tenth of a second, have to be that precise and figure, okay, is it 50.4 seconds? 50.5, 50.6, it's going to slow down the game tremendously. You're opening up a giant can of worms with clock reviews. 
you have to figure out, okay, this player stepped out with 6.4, but it should have been 6.1. We got to review that. We got to review those three tenths of a second. That doesn't make a huge difference in the grand scheme of things. Again, the Eagles submitted this proposal last year. It went nowhere. They're trying again, but I don't think it's going to pass. I'd be very surprised if it passes. I don't think anything changed from last year to this year in terms of more traction for this rule because of the money costs, because of the pace of game costs, and because it's such a specific scenario that we really, really don't want to open up this giant can of worms. You think the games are slow now by the end of it? You're going to get NBA-style two minutes inside the final two minutes, or really for this, inside the final minute, but NBA inside the final two minutes, you get the idea. You're going to get really slow review processes for the final minute if this proposal passes and they have to be precise to the tenth of a second. It's not going to be pretty in the slightest bit. But in that article that I mentioned, and I'll leave a link in the description, go check it out. It's a really, really good article. There are a few points that were made about why this is a good idea that I just want to rebut because I don't think it would make that much of a difference. As she says, the possibility of more specific timing in football is a tantalizing fantasy. Could a team run another offensive play if it knew it had 5.9 seconds instead of 5? Again, it doesn't really make a difference. You know with 5 seconds that it takes 4 seconds to run a play. You know that. We've seen teams do out routes with 5 seconds. We've seen teams at the 3-yard line call a play with 5 seconds to the end zone to get it down to 1 second. 5.9, it's not like you're going to get a 2 plays in with 5.9. That's impossible. So again, it's a very specific scenario that wouldn't apply. Could a team run another offensive play if they went at 5.9 instead of 5? They can run a play as it is. Could they run a second play? No, it doesn't make a difference. On top of that, she brought up it would add drama, as one former head coach pointed out. If a team stopped the clock with any tenths of a second left, it would still be able to get a playoff because the game clock starts with the next snap. Even with just a few tenths left, which seems like an impossibly small amount of time, there will never be a situation in the NFL when there is time remaining before the snap with the clock stopped and a team could not get a snap off. Again, I think you just illustrate the reason why this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Because again, with basketball, the tenths of a second make a difference. Football, they don't. We've never seen a situation where a team gets the playoff with zero seconds left on the game clock. Not the play clock. The play clock is a whole different story. That's an actual problem that needs to be solved because we don't know what delay of game is anymore. But with the game clock, we've never seen that problem before. So this doesn't really fix anything in that regard. I think the arguments that she made, I mean, they're sound arguments, but I think if anything, they work against her argument and against the Eagles' argument, really. I don't know if they're her arguments or the Eagles' arguments, but they mainly work against the point you're trying to make because I just don't see how this changes anything in the grand scheme of things. I really don't. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think this proposal will die. I'd be very surprised if it passes, but you need 75% of the owners to agree on it. Obviously, we know that the Philadelphia Eagles will agree on it, so you need 23 of the other 31 owners to agree on this proposal. What are your thoughts? Do you think this proposal has any chance at passing? Do you think this proposal will succeed? Do you like the proposal? Do you not like the proposal? Do you think it will slow down the game whatsoever? Do you think I'm making a mountain out of a molehill here? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. But that's going to do for this episode of JJ9 News. Be sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And be sure to check out my main channel, Jaguar 9 where we talk all things NFL history all the time. Until next time, this is Jaragare9 signing off, and as always, go Jags.